Yeah, hello and welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. Today I'm in Royal Forest, a nice little place I found here many years ago, and I'm still going back to this place. It's amazing. And yeah. today I have something special to show you. I made a new thing uh, for my fire uh, pit, a bowl here. Uh, show you that in a minute. But first I'll prepare uh, something I'll call a Viking. Uh, energy bar. So it's something that the Viking uh, made out of uh, different ingredients and then it could be taken with them on uh, hikes or trips, journeys and uh, just give a boost of energy because there's a lot of energy in this bar. So I'll start with uh, preparing that and then I'll light my fire showing you my new thing and uh, yeah uh, cook this uh, bar and then I later on have my cup of coffee. So, yeah, hope you enjoy this little video and I'm glad you joined me on this one too. And uh, this is the ingredients that is coming in this uh, energy bar. Some oatmeal, some uh, hazelnuts, some breadcrumbs from uh, uh, ray bread, and uh, some butter and some honey. So now I'll put this in one. and mix it in. Yeah. This will do. And now to the thing I would like to show you I made uh, recently. I actually made a new fireball. I'll show you, first I'll put this up, my tripod, yeah, this is a good place. My goal was to make a fireball that was more compact and uh, this is actually much more compact than uh, the old one uh, from Yuko because I can fold it completely down. So yeah, this is my new fireball 
and I actually made a little video where I show you uh, how I did it, not step by step, but uh, the most important things about uh, making this fireball. I'd like to show you that now. And those of you who have followed me on my uh, Viking adventures know that I have used this fireball for a long time. Uh, this fireball is from Yuko, the same company that makes uh, lanterns. And it's, it's a good setup, but two things. First, this, these flaps are very, yeah, you can see they're not sturdy enough. Uh, plus, when I pack it down, it's compact, yeah, but not that compact. So, I tried to figure it out to make a new fireball for this little tripod. And uh, before I do that, I'll show you in detail this tripod, uh, how I made it. Uh, it's not difficult to make this tripod. You can see it's uh, three pieces of uh, tubes. Uh, I chose uh, brass because I love brass. And um, yeah, they are, let me see if I measure it, approximately 33 centimeters. So yeah, and uh, the trick is to get this one done, yeah, this one in the middle. Can you see how it's attached? And um, yeah, I made such one. A template first, a triangle, you can see that can be bent down like this. You get the picture? So this little triangle is this one that are sitting in here and on these ends the tubes are secured with some screws. And uh, I used this for a long time, but then it was a little bit low, so I made a ring for it. So that when I put this on, it won't be as low as uh, before. And this is not easy neither. But, yeah. So, now I have my little tripod that I can put this one over, but as I said before, I was planning on making a new one, a new fireball, and uh, first I come up with this solution. It's a rounded, and the principle is you Secure it like this. Can you see this? Have these holes and these screws, and then I just put it in this. Yeah, and then it's fastened. And then I take this tripod, put it over here. You can see that is okay, but yeah. I made this one too. I put this inside so that there could come uh, air up from beneath. And it's okay, but it's still not uh, so compact as I want it to be. This could probably work, but then I decided to uh, change the design. So I experimented a bit with some templates and came up with this. Yeah. This one. And yeah, you can see in details how it's made. Here is uh, two kind of hooks and here's two uh, where they can go into. And when I make three of these, I got a design like this, and uh, yeah, I think it was 
a good design. I like it. And uh, then I had to find out how I could uh, transfer this into a piece of metal. And this is how I did that. I have an iron plate here. And then I take some tape that you use when you are uh, painting indoor or outdoors. And then I take the templates, put it over here, and mark it where it's going to be. This is just for show, so you can see uh, how I can transfer this template into a piece of metal. You can see here. And then I bought such a one, a scissor that can uh, cut in metal. And then I just have to cut it out very precisely. And if you're not so precise, uh, you can cut it a little bit further out and then uh, clean it uh, with a file. But this is how I made this. It's not that difficult. Yeah, and uh, I believe this is uh, 1.5 millimeter thick iron plate uh, that is uh, galvanized. I don't know if that's the right word in English, but it has the treatment. And before I paint it with my um, special paint, the heat uh, resistant paint. I use some sandpaper uh, to scratch the surface so that the paint will go in and uh, be better attached. And uh, the most tricky part was actually to make these, uh, I don't know if you call it a slot, board. But the others are going into. So again I experimented a bit and found this solution. I used my little power tool, I have a Dremel. Uh, and on here I have a little thing that can cut in middle. So I start it up. And then for the wrists a little file here. That I can put in. Yeah, and then manually make this uh, one uh, so that the iron can come in. And this little one is uh, exactly the right size. So I just have to do this until it fits my my little hooks on the other side. Hope you get the picture there. Yeah. And then and uh, then I got these three pieces that I painted with some um, some spray uh, paint that is can uh, take the heat, use it for chimneys and so on. And I'm not sure that every piece is exactly uh, the same, so I decided to uh, adapt it so it could fit. So in here, you see there's one uh, hole there, and two holes there, and uh, three holes there. So I take the one with the one hole here, and find the other one, and then I put them together. Yeah, and uh, this one has three holes and three holes. Yeah, I think you get the picture. And the last one is a little bit difficult, so but 
Yeah. And then I made a little fireball here. And of course, I had to make something in the middle. So I made this little uh, template that became into this. And I decided not to paint this uh, because I think uh, it would look cool if this one was uh, not painted. Hope you like it too. So this is the result. Yeah. And how does it look? Does it look on the tripod? Yeah. It looks pretty cool. And this one can clean up of the tubes and it can uh, hold in place because, yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little angle here that can be hold on so it won't, um, it won't fall down easily. So uh, this is how it looks when it's finished. And now I'm going to try it first time with fire in. So I hope that the construction will hold and that these uh, metal things won't uh, wobble too much. So yeah, I'll find out. And one last thing, uh, these three templates for making this uh, fireball, I will uh, I'll put on my website, link in the video description. And while you watch the video about how I made that, I light up my fire here uh, for the first time in my fireball, as I said, and I'm, yeah, I hope it will work. And of course I think so. First we'll take some butter on. And then some honey. And then it has to cook for a while until the, the butter and honey is uh, golden brown. About 5 to 10 minutes. Yeah, now it's turning into a nice color. Then I put these ingredients on.
and uh, let it cook here for five minutes or so until the the butter and the honey is soaked in not too much then it's going to be burned but enough so that the the whole thing uh, mixes together yeah then it's finished and I just have to let it cool off or cool down over here yeah and I think I'll put over my water now for the coffee And it's looking good, my new fireball. It looks like it's going to work. Yeah. A little bit of salt. Hello everyone.
this is how it looks when you're finished and it tastes delicious mm. Yeah, and then I'll think I'll pack it in small uh, pieces and and take it with me when I'm out on my Viking hikes. It's very delicious. And uh, the rest that I didn't use in my uh, Viking energy bar, I put out here in the forest uh, to the animals and to uh, give back something to nature. Old Norse tradition. I think it's a nice little setup. My new fireball and uh, my tripod. So if there's anyone out there that would like to put this in production, I'm very interested in making some kind of collaboration with you. I think this one will be a success. It's easy, lightweight and don't take much room. So yeah. Yeah folks, this is all for now. Hope you enjoyed this little video from uh, Royal Forest. It's actually been a very good weather today. The sun has been shining, but I'm deep in the forest and a little bit of a, a valley here. So that's not so much sun that's coming down here, but that doesn't matter. It's been a wonderful day and I showed you my new uh, fireball and how to make a uh, Viking uh, energy bar if you want to do that. So yeah. Then I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye.
take care.